Hello friends and welcome back to Picture Astrology. In this series of Planets through various houses, today we will talk about placement of Sun in the sign of Scorpio for a Leo rising horoscope. And when Leo is the rising sign of a horoscope, which means Leo is in the first house, then the placement of Sun assumes extra significance because Leo is the rising sign and hence sun is the lord of ascendant or ascendant lord and the placement of ascendant lord in any horoscope not only influences one or two houses but the overall life of a person has a direct effect because of this because ascendant is a point which truly donates or truly signifies what this horoscope belongs to or who the real mr i in this horoscope is so in next few minutes we will learn about specific houses and also see how the general life is impacted by this placement of sun in fourth house so we have a horoscope in which the sign of Leo rises, which is in the first house and sun is placed in the fourth house of Scorpio sign. So definitely this placement is going to affect your ascendant and by that extension overall life, as we said, it will have a direct effect on the fourth house affairs and from the fourth house sun will have a direct aspect on the 10th house the all important 10th house which shows your reputation and work in the world so that will also be affected now sun as we know is a natural significator of the 10th house related affairs it shows how your relationship with the higher government officials will be it will show how your relationship with your boss will be or in general how you deal with any power authority in life and how they deal with you how good they will be with you is all determined by this placement of sun so we will look into all of these areas in next few minutes so let's begin with the fourth house and the very first thing which comes into the mind when you think about fourth house that it is the house of your mother and as an astrologer you can or as a predictive method sun in the fourth house uh, you know sun basically is a malefic planet and its position in the fourth house if afflicted suppose sun is here and there is an aspect of mars or moon which is the primary karaka of mother that is also somewhat afflicted then you can clearly say that the mother would have suffered or it could have been like a cesarean birth when the person was born because sun here can cause some issues during the delivery of the child so not uh, not you as a person it just shows that your mother if you have this horoscope it shows that your mom would have had either a little bit difficult nine months when you were coming out or the um, birth would have been not normal but a cesarean birth but remember a moon afflicted is necessary for this because moon is the natural signification of mother so when natural significator is afflicted and sun is here like this you can clearly you know easily say that some trouble to mother must have happened and other very important aspect of fourth house in vedic astrology is that this is the house of your education and by education fourth house actually shows your formal education or formal degree you may get it doesn't show the kind of skills you may acquire okay and placement of sun here now sun is the lord of ascendant so any placement of sun shows the area where your mental faculties 
are deeply involved because ascendant shows not just your physical self but because first house is the house of head your brain it shows the placement of ascendant lord showed that area where you are deeply involved in and education is definitely one of them so these people usually would have very high regards towards formal education they would attain a good degree and using that degree they will be able to work in life as well because this sun has a direct aspect on the 10th house 10th house which shows your work life so what this shows is that a person who is deeply inclined towards education and using that education they would be able to work well in life now there are many cases where a person gets education but is not able to utilize that in real life or he chooses another career after you know getting educated in something but this is not that combination this combination shows that you will be have you know ever since early in life you will have a big clarity you will have a clear idea of the field in which you want to study and you will be able to make a career in that field as well and not just make a career you know you will be uh, as time progresses it shows high success in career because the sun has a direct aspect on the 10th house and sun is at the same time in a very friendly sign of scorpio scorpio is considered one of the more friendlier signs of sun so overall from getting educated and finding a job or work related to that education this is a great placement now let's talk about one of the very important aspect of this placement now fourth house among other things shows your inner self or your deep rooted emotions just like moon see fourth house in the um, cosmic zodiac shows the 12 o'clock at night when all the external activities kind of subsides and you are deeply sleeping so this is the time when your true inner self your deep inside your deep emotions are active and therefore this is also the house of your family life your home because home is something which is personal to you you know it's not for other people to see 10th house is the house which is for everybody to see 4th house is your own fiefdom it's your own small world in which you live but see sun sun is one planet which cannot be hidden can you hide sun in any ways the moment sun rises the day starts everybody knows its day the light is there so sun is one planet which is always in the limelight which is always in the public domain now fourth house is completely opposite of that as we just saw it is your personal life and when sun is in the fourth house there is a tendency that these people they speak their mind out they very irrationally sometimes speak their deep rooted emotions with and and share with everybody and anybody so that is something it's it's a characteristic which the sun imparts in that you know uh, in people that needs to be really restrained because you need to understand that your deep rooted emotions are to be shared with only selected few and in case there is an affliction on sun or there is an affliction rather end if there is affliction on the sun and at the same time there is affliction on the moon because moon shows or moon is the primary significator of your emotions then 
this sharing of emotions could be misused by other persons can be misused by people against you so this tendency must be curbed you know it has to be restrained from early in your life because what generally happens is as person grows old with this combination this tendency increases and it could cause you know emotional hurt later in life so if you have this placement please try to manage your emotions more properly and now since fourth house is your innermost self and sun is a fiery planet so there is always a fire burning in these people now this fire is good because it helps because of the aspect on the 10th house in professional success professionally a burning fire in your heart a desire to accomplish something is wonderful it's great but personally it can make you very fidgety you know it can give you a tendency that you could be in compulsive need to keep on doing something it becomes very difficult for these people to just stay calm and relaxed in one place even during vacations they might be thinking about you know doing something and if that kind of obsession develops then it could be quite detrimental to their inner harmony for their you know managing their own emotions that fidgety nature so and this generally happens again when moon is afflicted because as i said moon is the primary karaka of your emotions so this is another tendency which needs to be curbed now there are many other aspects of life which the sun uh, can affect but this video is already too long so i will stop here and will take up those topics in later videos but overall this sun you know is wonderful for professional success but managing your emotions is important when you have this placement of sun so guys i hope you like this analysis of sun in scorpio fourth house for leo ascendant please do like and subscribe to my channel to continue to receive more interesting videos thank you so much for watching thus far and hope to see you again soon bye bye